Okay, hello guys. So this is the Oppo Find 7, and today I will show you how to press a Chinese ROM in this phone, and then press a custom recovery, and then press a custom ROM based on Android 9, Line 8 OS. Okay, so you can revive your Android Lollipop to Android 9. Okay, I also going to make a quick review about the ROM is it quite good enough or not for the ready driver okay <clears throat> all the files and instruction I will provide in my blog the link is in the description box okay I hope you uh, don't skip this video because if not sometime there will be a problem when customize this phone okay thank you guys stay tuned and check it out Okay, hello guys, we met again with Om Bob. Okay, this time we have a very old phone. This is the Oppo Find 7. <coughs> and <coughs> it is a very old phone. And, and it's stuck on Android 5, if, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, where is it about phone? Uh, see right there? We are stuck on Android 5.0 Lollipop and today I will show you how to upgrade your phone using a custom ROM okay okay so let's just turn off the phone okay now for the next step is we need to flash the phone using the Chinese ROM okay it is technical uh, because our global phone is not elf uh, is LPM partition and we need to make it unify partition okay basically we just need to uh, flash the Chinese ROM version of the Oppo okay then turn off the <coughs> after you turn off the phone we need to go to the download mode okay let's remove the battery and then let's put it down and let's switch the screen. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay, let's switch the screen. This is step. Okay. Uh, you need to do, download this file. Okay, this is firmware Chinese version. I will provide files, also the steps in my blog. I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, guys. Uh, and then you just need to open the file and extract to a folder you will find something like this the size is about 1.8 gigabyte okay then just double click the file and wait because it has a large file for my computer that has 16 gigabytes of memory it's kind of like and for you guys that have less RAM than that you must wait several times more than I do okay <laughs> okay this is a uh, Chinese language okay just select this one and just hit this button okay okay and then let's hit this button okay it means uh, download or flashing okay let's hit the button and after that go to the download mode by pressing the volume up and uh, plug in the USB cable You can see right there it's now start flashing and when we check in the device manager it will show you the Qualcomm kitty loader port 908 okay so wait it takes about three to five minutes <coughs> and okay if you haven't installed the Qualcomm driver you need to install this one okay I already installed the driver so I do not need this one. We'll skip this video and let's continue after it's finished.
it's already done and now let's close this one and let's switch screen okay let's put the battery back again and now let's turn on the pawn okay you must wait until it goes to the home screen and now we are in the home screen okay you can see right here we only have english and chinese language means that now we have successfully flashed the uh, Chinese ROM okay and then for the next step let's turn off the pawn <clears throat> we want to go to the bitloader mode or fastboot mode okay like usual the download mode can be accessed by pressing the volume up and the power button at the same times when you see uh, Apollo logo just release the two buttons okay let's try it volume up power button Apollo logo uh, okay now we are in the download and uh, in the bootloader mode okay let's plug the USB cable And then let's switch the screen. In here, I already have uh, mode custom recovery. Okay, let's open the terminal or CMD. And then let's flash the custom ROM. Uh, sorry, let's try to do OM unlock to unlock the bootloader. Let's put space OM space unlock. Okay, success. The next step is <clears throat> plus the custom recovery. Okay, I'm just going to copy and paste because it's more fast. Okay, <laughs> and we're going to use this one, the image modded. And let's go to the custom recovery okay nice and then okay let's see the uh, notes and now let's just swipe it go to the wipe menu right here Go to the advanced and wipe the Delphix system data and cache. Okay, swipe it. Hit home button. Select install and find where you have the files. Okay, I have saved in the microSD. <clears throat> and flash the appropriate files according to my instruction. Okay, guys don't mis don't be don't make any mistake okay <laughs> uh okay first thing is the line eights at mod zip the nick caps at mod zip and then the cm12 pads okay <clears throat> the cm13 pads is very important because if, if you forgot to install the zip file it will <clears throat> it will not see internal storage in the Android. You can you also cannot install some apps from the Play Store. So don't forget to install the CM13 pads. Okay, guys. And it's done. Okay, the last thing we want to do is wipe the Delphi cache. Wipe it. Go to the home button, select wipe and format data. Okay, this is just for precautions. 
then just hit reboot system let's wait okay usually it takes about five minutes from three to five minutes okay uh the cm13 is important don't forget okay so please don't ask in the comment section that you cannot install app from the play store or you cannot see the internal storage okay <laughs> Okay, let's wait guys. Now it's shown the line 8 with logo. Here we go. Now we are in the home screen. Okay, just click next and next. And okay, let's skip this one and we are now in the home screen. Okay, I will skip this video and we will continue to make a quick review about this ROM. Okay, is it quite good enough for daily driver or not? Okay, stay tuned guys. Okay guys, so we have successfully installed Android 9 on our Oppo Find 7 and let's make a quick re review about this ROM. Okay. First thing, let's go to the settings and storage. Okay. And you can see right here the system takes up about 4.7 gigabyte. Okay, quite good. And then let's open the ida 64 Let's check the system. Okay, Oppo Find 7, blah blah blah, 3GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, nice. And CPU, okay, it's quite good enough. I don't feel any lag and it's very fast. Okay, Oppo Find 7, Android 9. <laughs> okay, let's check the email, is it safe or not? Okay, you can see right here the email is safe, so you can use your card. And we also connected to the Wi Fi, you can see right here. Okay, let's test the GPS. <clears throat> Just give it permission and it's okay. And let's check. If the GPS is already turned on, okay, nice. It has also has one also have NFC. Okay, let's open the map again. Uh, sometime maybe for the first time, it it, it, it takes time to load the GPS for some point. Okay. Okay, let's skip this one. And let's test the camera maybe. Okay. We'll take a picture and also record video using the front and back camera. Okay. Then I will show you the result. Now I'm taking picture with the back camera and now using the front camera. And now I'll um, record video. Okay, hello guys. This is recorded using the fan camera. I will stop this one. And this is recorded using the back camera. Okay, let's check the result. Let's go to the gallery. And where is it? Uh, okay. This is the result of the back camera, the front camera. Okay, let's play the video from the front camera. <clears throat> Can I saw the function working properly for the camera? Taking a picture, also record the video. Okay, the sound is kind of small, but I think it's not a very big problem. Okay, guys, you know what? 
from Lollipop, you can use the Android 9 Pi. It's good enough to revive your phone. <laughs> okay, and then uh, let's open the app again. Okay, let's try to turn off and turn on the location. Sometime you need to give it permission. Okay, yeah, let's stop. For stop. You can see the pond is very fast and snappy. I don't feel any lag from the pond. Okay, let's continue. I already <coughs> installed YouTube in here. Let's test the video and sound record. Uh, okay, let's play Doraemon song. Doraemon. Okay, nice. You can see the sound is very clear and loud. The video is also working. There is no problem. Okay, what else? Uh, <coughs> video camera, blah blah blah. Okay, I will show you this one. <coughs> this is some banking apps in Indonesia. And let's try to open it. Okay, sometimes if the ROM is not good enough, you cannot open banking apps. Okay. So, seems that it's working. Ah, uh, okay, nice. So, the security for this ROM is quite good enough. Okay, let's open the map again. If it's not working, I'm going to try to restart the pawn. Okay. Sometimes you need to restart the pawn. If some apps doesn't work. Okay guys, so the map is working after I restart the pond. Okay, like I said before, sometimes you need to restart the pond if some app doesn't work. It's uh, expected in the custom ROM. Okay, that's all guys. This is a quick review about... Uh, okay, this is a tutorial on how to customize your Oppo Find 7 to the Android 9 Line 8 OS and also a quick review about the ROM okay I think it is good enough it's very fast and snappy uh, the camera and video recording is working the sound and video are working GPS working we have working email and Wi-Fi and I think it was for ready driver okay it's revived your phone from the all Android 5 lollipop okay thank you guys I hope <coughs> you like this video Okay, I also have a lot of video about custom ROM and pawn. Usually, especially Xiaomi, <coughs> Samsung, and Realme. Okay, you can check for my other video. Maybe some of the video will be useful for you. Okay, and if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make new video. Okay. Uh, thank you guys. If this video helped, please give it a like. Okay. Stay held, stay safe, and wassalamualaikum.